as important as it is, cutting spending and bureaucracy alone are not going to be enough. In their current form, we're going to have to recognize that Social Security and Medicare are unsustainable, not for the current group of retirees, but for coming generations. And we can't afford to avoid these entitlement challenges any longer. I'm the only candidate for president who has offered a sweeping, specific plan to save Medicare and to reform Social Security. There are those who say you can't talk straight to the American people on these issues and still win an election. I say we can. We must. And I will. The what I proposed are, are sensible and critical reforms. Under my plan, no one near retirement age or currently retired will see any of the changes I'm going to describe. But people in their 20s and 30s and 40s and early 50s are going to see some changes. And by the way, tax hikes, they're off the table. We'll, we're going to slowly and gradually raise the retirement age for Social Security, and we'll slow the growth rate in benefits for higher income retirees. And then when it comes to Medicare, tomorrow's seniors should have the freedom to choose between traditional Medicare and a range of private plans. And if these... And, and if these future seniors choose a more expensive plan, then they will have to pay the additional cost. I, take a look at the, at the Ryan plan. We're, we're in the same page and the same verse on that. I, I know that this president and his liberal allies are going to attack me for where he's failed to lead. So be it. I'm going to stand and fight. We're going to win on this because so much depends on it. He's going to attack us with the, the usual fear tactics, uh, but we're going to remind Americans that during this president's term, we have seen record high job losses and record home foreclosures. He will not be lecturing to us on values as a man whose ineptitude and failure has created so much unnecessary pain for our fellow Americans.